In this video, I want to show you 10 tips about Linux Mint. Every one of you should know. Welcome to Linux Alt, your platform for Linux and free software. And let's start right through. Our first tip are the hot corners we have right available in our system. For that, I open up our menu and I select hot corners. Here we have it. I open it up. And here I highly recommend to enable this left top corner here and then adjust it to show all windows. This is because if you have many windows open and you want to get an overview of all open applications, yes, you of course have this window list, but you really don't know sometimes which window is really open. And if you, for example, have two file managers, then everything gets more complicated. So in the end, you only have now to go with your mouse to the left top corner here and you see all open windows. And what the cool thing is, you can click on some window and open it up. But you can also close some applications in this hot corner menu by simply clicking the middle mouse click, which is the mouse button on your mouse wheel. So I can just close all windows. I don't need this is quite helpful if you have a lot of windows open and want to navigate between very, very fast. Another hint goes for some games, but also some windows you have open, but you want to go to the full screen. Not every application itself supports the full screen mode, like for example, our file manager, but you can turn every window to full screen mode by pressing the key combination Alt F11. But if this won't work, this is the default behavior. It isn't configured by default. Just let's have a look how and where we can do this. I open up my menu and type in a keyboard. Here in keyboard, I select shortcuts and then I select windows. Here in windows, we have many keyboard shortcuts, which are sometimes assigned like close window alt F4. I guess many of you are already knowing this keyboard binding, but also something like toggle full screen straight. And I want to give this a keyboard binding and for that, I double click the first unassigned entry and now type the keyboard binding Alt F11 and then this is set. Perfect. Now I can go with almost every window into the full screen mode just by pressing Alt F11. This is sometimes very handy and I need it for different purposes very regularly. So you learned there are many shortcuts on Linux Mint Cinnamon you can adjust and you can add by yourself. Just have a look. It's really a shot worth to go all these categories through and also the children of these categories. These are all separate entries. So just make sure to don't miss any of them. Let's head over to the next tip. And this is our taskbar on the bottom here. You can expand your taskbar very quickly by right clicking your taskbar and select applets. Here in applets, you can add some small mini programs which are enhancing your taskbar. But there are also many more to download from the community. And one of the popularest applet is the weather applet. I also use it all the time. So I just select the download button here. We are installing weather. And after I have installed it, I go back to manage here. We select here, view your local weather forecast. So I press plus and this is doing the rest. And if you want to define your location, just right click it and select configure. And then you can select here the location and many, many more options, how the weather is displayed. But I would say, yeah, the default is just fine. So here you can define many applets, download some new one. For example, the color picker is very helpful and many more. Just have a look through it. Also a hint I always use in Linux Mint is my time applet. My time applet is kind of useless because I don't know which date we currently have and I also want to display the seconds. This is very easy. Just left click it and then select date and time settings. And here 
you can see format. I can select display the date and can say display seconds. And then we have all important information just on our taskbar. Let's head over to another very important point of every device you own and you use. This is the point update. Linux Mint can do this fully automatically. For that, I open up my update manager, which is the small shield here, or I can just open it via the menu update manager. Here we have it. And then when the update manager finished loading, I select edit and select preferences. Here in preferences, I can go to automation and then I highly recommend you to just fire everything up from the automatic updates for the package updates, also to the other updates, the cinnamon spices. These are extensions for your desktop like the weather applet. So just make sure to activate it and also the flat packs of your system and the automatic maintenance is also very important. So just make sure to set everything on and you don't have to care about any future updates anymore unless the big versions of Linux Mint, which are released every two years. Then some of you might say, yeah, what is it with time shift? Do we really have to use time shift? I made a video about time shift and Linux Mint usage. Just have a look to the video description because I don't recommend everyone using time shift as the system itself recommends. Just let us stick to the menu. Our next tip is how to uninstall applications and Linux Mint is very easy in this. For example, if we want to uninstall the transmission app, just right click it and then Linux Mint displays an uninstall option here. And this works with almost every app you install on Linux Mint. So I select uninstall and then Linux Mint is scanning which packages transmission is using. And then we see, okay, these packages will be removed. I select okay, type in my password and then we are finished. I guess an easier method is almost impossible. Let's have a look to the next tip everyone should know. And this is if we open up our file manager. I highly encourage you to use the bookmark option, which is very useful for folders you're using daily. For example, if I go into my documents, I see my work folder and I open up this work folder with the year 2024 almost every day. So to create a bookmark, I just drag and drop it to the left side and here we see a new section called bookmarks. So I just drag and drop it under bookmarks and then we see our bookmarked folder on our left side of the file manager and in our menu also under places. Here we have it. Also, if we open up some files in other applications, this folder will be shown as a short link so you don't have to navigate through your whole system. Another useful function is bookmarks but for files and this is called favorites. So for example if I open up my document very very often then I just mark it as a favorite. So I right click it and select add to favorites. This gives us a new entry here in my computer under favorites. Here all favorite files are listed also, we see them in the menu under favorites. And also, if we have a look to our taskbar, we have a new star called favorites where we can just start our favorite files with one single click. Also, if you, for example, open up your text editor or other applications and then select file, then you see sometimes a new menu point favorites because many Linux Mint applications have favorites right built into it. So you can also open up your favorites very fast over, for example, the text editor. Let us stick to the file manager. For our next tip, I want to share a hotkey I almost use in every video and this hotkey is F3. Because with F3 we get a second folder view in one window. So on the one side we can for example head to downloads, on the other side we can for example head to documents and move some files from the one location to the other. This is just very similar to the midnight commander. If you want a midnight commander's layout just switch the view to the list view here and on the other side also. And then you have a midnight commander style. You can also make this view to default by select edit 
preferences and then select view new folders using list view. Also, we can select in the behavior, always start in dual pane view if you really want this, but this is very special. So if we open up back again our file manager, then it's just directly in this midnight commander view. But for me, I use this midnight commander view, not always. So I change back everything to the start. Also, let us assume you're using your Linux Mint very highly and your desktop of Linux Mint just have a few bugs while running. This could be, for example, because of a faulty application or other tiny small bugs and with one single command you can just restart your whole desktop session without closing any application to do something like a fresh restart. To do such thing, I press Alt F2 and then a single R and enter. This restarts cinnamon and all its applets and then you can eliminate some bugs which maybe were issued of some faulty applications. Let us come straight to the next tip. Let's assume you have a faulty application which don't respond this to any action of you anymore and you want to close it, want to kill it. For example, in Windows, you are doing it with the task manager. In Linux Mint 22 and all versions before, you can do this by Alt F2 and then type in xkill just like this and press enter. Then your mouse will be changed to an X. Then you can just left click one of your open windows and it will definitely close and be killed by the system automatically. So I press the left click to this window and we see it is closed immediately. This works with every window on Linux. But this tip only works with the Linux Mint 22 versions from Linux Mint 23. This function won't work at the current point of my information because the new display manager called Wayland will be then the new default one. And this doesn't work with the new display manager. But yeah, just let's wait for some months to the new version Linux Mint 23. I guess we will get a similar tool like this in the future. Let us come to our 10th tip. And this is a very easy one, which honestly you can do at every operating system for computers. And this is the notifications. I guess we all know these notifications and they are popping up at sometimes we really don't want to. For example, if we want to click on something behind it or worse, it is disturbing us. For example, a new email, a new message from our browser and so on. Because of this, I highly recommend you to disable all notifications while you're working. Because then you are only checking for emails if you have time to. The notifications won't get deleted. They all will be displayed at the notification applet down here. Just let me create some notifications, for example, like this. Here we see it. I always see how many notifications I have, yeah, some kind of missed. And if I want to read them all, I just click on this message here and we see all notifications, which otherwise would be displayed up here. Just a very small change, but this made me more productive on my daily computer usage. These were 10 tips for Linux Mint, but last but not least, I give you a bonus tip. And this bonus tip is called Linux Assistant. It's an app which is completely free and open source, which aims to be a daily Linux helper for some administrative tasks, installing new software, but also bringing many features to almost every distribution out there. And this very easily. So let me just open it up. Here's the start screen of Linux Assistant with some useful information, but also some very cool features like cleaning disk space functions, the Linux health or security checks and so on and so on. There are many features in there which are definitely a shot worth. So just have a look. It's completely free. It's open source. It's built by me. And this is my answer to all Linux users. I want to improve the Linux world, but not by releasing yet another distribution. This was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips in the future because we are releasing new stuff about Linux and open source every week. So enjoy your day and see you in the next one. Bye.